to assume you're, you're pleased with, with the results so far? Uh, yes. Um, I was very, very pleased with being able to locate a lot more efficiently than I was in my previous start. Um, I felt a lot more controlled and felt more, a lot more collective up on the mound today. Where does the confidence come in your in, in the throwing of strikes? Because it seems like that's a lot of pitchers tend to you know, nibble or try to get too fancy. You're just your commitment to throwing strikes. Um, where does that come from? Uh, I mean, ultimately, it's just I mean, I'm gonna try to attack hitters as much as I can. Um, I mean, the way I always see things is a Hall of Fame hitter hits 300, and I mean, seven out of ten times I'm getting them out. And if I can just manipulate one or two of those at bats, um, the favor swings in my direction. So, for the most part, I just trust I trust what I got, and I I try to fill up the zone as much as possible because I know I have a great defense behind me. Um, I mean, they were making plays all day today, um, but for the most part, that's where it comes into play. I hear people with describing you say he he doesn't. He's not just a thrower; he's a pitcher, and there's a there's a difference in that. Do you do you do you view yourself that way? Um, I mean, honestly, I just uh, I uh, I view myself as just someone who locates. Um, I'm not gonna be able to blow fastballs by people for the most part, so um, I got to be efficient and locate as much as I can. Hey, Dan, appreciate you, Kennedy. Hey, Dave. Um, did you throw any four seamers today? I did not throw a single four seamer. No. Um, I was right there. Yeah, I actually I haven't thrown a single four seamer this year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that by design? Why Why do you think that is? Uh, yes, by design. Um, my whole emphasis last year of throwing a four seam was to to help me with lefties, get be more effective on lefties, um, and that was not the case. Uh, lefties were batting I think three forty off my four seam, so. I decided to punt that, and I ended up establishing a cutter instead, just something to get on the hands of lefties. I mean, I asked Woody this, but you, like you said, you're not throwing fastballs by anybody at you know, 97 miles an hour. So it was, what do you think makes you so effective just in, in general, even though you're not, you know, you don't have a cannon? Um, honestly, just being able to locate my pitches, um, being able to efficiently sink pitches in um, – in certain situations and being able to just get them off timing and off, ry off rhythm. Um, for the most part, I, I try to work early ground ball outs. And then if I can sneak a few strikeouts here and there, I, I try to take that opportunity. But for the most part, um, I mean, I, I try to get as many ground balls as possible. Go to Chris. Uh, hey, Dane. Um, this one on so that your 14 scoreless innings streak uh, is tied for the third longest in major history, and two of the guys on that list are ex-run no-hitters this year. So what's your reaction to that? Uh, I mean, I think that's really cool. Um, I mean, that's – I got to give credit to my – I mean, that's that's all – the catchers behind the plate and the defense behind me have been – they've been working their butt off. Um, I mean, I – Going forth, I probably won't think about this again at all. Um, I'll probably just go into the next outing with the same men mentality. But um, I mean, that is that's that's a pretty cool stat. Anything else for Dane this evening? Back to Kennedy. This is your second start this season with no walks and at least five strikeouts. I know you said you know you really just work on locating your pitches, mm -hmm. but. Why are you so effective in, in that realm? Um, I mean, I feel like it's just the way I like attack hitters and the way I perceive going to each at bat. For the most part, starting off the game, I'll start working like the the thirds of the plate, and from there, depending on if I'm effectively locating my pitches, I'll expand a little bit more here and there. Um, and then obviously it also dictates on like how the umpire is calling pitches. If he's calling balls low, I'm going to try to keep consistently pounding it in that, that, that spot. But uh, I really pride myself on not walking batters. Um, and I know I had two walks in Tampa, and that one, uh, that one really frustrated me. But coming out now, I'd rather have like someone put my ball in play just because I create a lot of sink and a lot of movement that I can miss barrels and hitters count. 
No problem.